However, the theory is just that. It's theory. Real life is a whole different scenario entirely. Consumer uh, activity is, continue, is continuing to drop. Um, manufacturing shall follow suit. Uh, demand is down and supplies are not moving. Because you've got a situation happening with uh, slowdown in homes being sold. That also contributes to um, the cooling of inflation. The oil price is holding steady because demand is down for oil. You have troubles all across this planet that's similar. So-called China is in deep trouble. Manufacturers are fleeing. We discussed that. They've got 31 provinces. One of them had to be bailed out by their central corporation. And you've got about six others that are next. You got troubles in Kushite Mountain Range East. Um, they couldn't get the loan they were looking for from the IMF. They have to continue to import oil and that gas for propulsion and for uh, electrical power generation and other things. They're still dealing with the effects of that four month long flood that wiped out their textiles and their agriculture, which is where they get the bulk of their funds from. Their previous leader was recently arrested. They think he's popped enough to win uh, a seat in if you would. Remains to be seen. I just know that over there they didn't want to make any unpopular moves. The IMF wanted them to um, privatize certain things. Uh, decrease their workforce, if you would. And they want them to introduce additional tax uh, um, hikes. All of those things are unpopular when there's supposed to be a quote-unquote election. Well, you got the same troubles in Ankara. They're going to have a runoff now for their, their quote-unquote election. They're running at 50% inflation. So Argentina is running at 104% inflation. In Phoenicia, particularly in quote unquote Beirut, they are at 200 and something <laughs> inflation rate. Everybody's talking about quote unquote bricks this and bricks that. And every last one of them have their central banks controlled by outsiders. Everybody gets caught up in this, oh, BRICS is going to do so-and-so. They want to introduce so-and-so. I don't care who's supposed, to be legendary, who's supposed to be in power with these BRICS guys. They don't control their central bank. The real power is the party who controls their central bank. Everything you're seeing occurring right now is the Truman Show in real life. It's dog and pony show. That's all it is. And it's not getting any better in other circles. The so-called African Union is privately owned and operated. It was never designed what folks think it's there to do. They have a 651 so-called million so-called dollars in worthless fiat or digital worthless currency. That is their current budget law. Well, not budget law, excuse me, their current budget. The maximum empire per government fiscal budget law currently is four times the size. We're covering far more ground than they. That's not an accident. They have no intentions. They do the will of their master. And folks have no idea what they're talking about. And what is allowed shall most certainly continue. Londinium, Paris, Brussels, the oil barons, and the vaccine barons, they own and control the privately owned and operated 
UN, the privately owned and operated African Union. They only prosecute conflicts where there is oil or strategic value. The reason why the so-called UN went into cardio um, about 70 Earth years ago was to establish military ability under the guise of the UN. And after that, they only prosecute conflicts where there's oil. It's an oil baron owned entity. Two plus two is four. I can't believe what you say it in. And parties are under the illusion that the UN is something that is not. They're under the illusion that the quote unquote African Union is something that is not. And since most folks don't know the distinction between franchising management and actual organic diplomacy and governance, they don't have a clue as to what they're talking about. They don't have a clue as to what in the world they're doing. And the melanin suffer because parties insist that 4 billion folks need to be off this planet. And they decide who the 4 billion to go are according to their plans. The arrogance is astounding to me. However, the masses, they go along. It's what they like it. I love it. We're not here to convince them otherwise. Parties are going to do what they're going to do. However, those looking for a viable option, choice, and solution, those know that the heterosexual will find a place here. We'll train them, prepare them. We'll survive what's coming. We're just not here to convince folks. I'm not here to sell anyone on an idea. The cold hard truth resonates or doesn't. There is no in between. Parties will either act accordingly or they won't. What I do know is truth is truth. It needs no crunch. It needs no apology. And folks either stand on the truth or they don't. 